God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Tonight, we have the wife of our executive governor here in the state. She's here representing the governor. And just to let you know that the state governor had you know, also supported this program fully. They've given us 30 buses to move people to this crusade and out. And I want to call Her Excellency to come right to the pulpit and give a word or two to the congregation as she stands in for the governor. Excellency, you are welcome. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Max. Please sit down, sir. Good evening, church. We bless the name of the Lord tonight. I uh, bring you warm greetings from the governor who had indeed desired and planned to be here tonight. First, let me formally welcome our big daddy. Pastor Kumi, the general overseer the general overseer of the Deeper Life Church in Nigeria. This church has been existing, I'm sure, before many of us were born. And it is still standing and growing stronger and stronger. So we bless God for his life and for the life of our mama, the lovely wife of our general overseer. We bless God for the lives of... These are generals, God's generals, in our country, in Africa, and indeed in the world. So we're highly privileged to have them come here to Edo State, and I and the governor are particularly glad that they came during our tenor. Before I proceed, I'd like to also greet the head of the Christian Association of um, Nigeria, the church, the president of Khan Edo State Chapter, and the president also of PFN CPM, the first ever female president of PFN of any state chapter in Nigeria, and it's happening in Edo State, so we're very proud. Iemoya. I also would like to acknowledge respectfully all of the big um, regional states and area pastors of the Deeper Life Christian Church, the organizers of this awesome crusade, the church in general, Deeper Life, and all of the Christian fold um, represented here. Lovely, God-fearing people of Edo State. Isn't that who you are? I greet you all. And I bring you again warm greetings from your governor, who is delighted and excited that this crusade is happening here in Edo State. He had to travel to Abuja this morning and was struggling to come back this evening. As a matter of fact, it was only about an hour or so or two ago that the driver came back to park the car when they realized that the governor couldn't make it back today. But he's promised, he asked me how long will Big Daddy be here for, and I said eight days. So he said, okay, he's going to come and join us on one of the days before the crusade ends. So he'll be here physically himself. So we thank God immensely 
for the work he's doing in the church in Nigeria and around the world. This is a mega crusade. It's not the regular city or state crusade. This is a world crusade. And we bless God for giving Papa the vision and the energy and the strength to do this. It's a feat that even young people like you and I, you and I would struggle with. But to have a man his age running crusades every month for years, you know that it is only by the hand of God upon his life, the life of God in him, that makes him superhuman and enables him to do unusual and amazing and unnatural things. So we bless God for the presence of his spirit in our Papa, and we thank him for bringing deliverance to Edo State. Because this crusade, God will use it to address issues in our individual lives, in families, in our state, and also in our country. Because on all of these fronts, we, at this time of our national life and at this time of our existence on earth, every one of us needs the touch of God. We need salvation. We need deliverance. We need healings. We need cleansings. We need restoration. We need sanctification. Because the things happening in this world today point to the fact that the Savior can appear anytime. Now this is the time for everyone who calls the name of the Lord to keep purge our vessels, keep our vessels clean and put our hands on the plow and be mindful to do only that which counts for eternity and walk in the way of the Lord with the fear of God and wait for the Messiah who is coming soon, whether you believe it or not. So let us all open our hearts to Papa as he ministers the word of God to us on a daily basis. Let us receive the word. Let us allow the Holy Spirit to touch our hearts and transform our hearts because it is in the salvation of individuals that a community, a state, and a nation get saved and healings come and deliverances come upon our land and life gets better for every one of us. We are struggling as a nation now. Times are difficult, but whether you believe it or not, it is only God that can save us individually, save us as a state, save us as a nation, and make life meaningful and worthwhile for us. So let us all know that we must hold on to the Most High God through his only begotten Son, the only one whose name has been given to all mankind to be saved, the Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you all. <laughs>